Hello guys, Stan here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your graphics card or a GPU as you guys might know it. Installing a GPU is incredibly easy, and yeah, all you have to do is locate where your graphic card is, take it out and put a new one in, as simple as that. Now first of all, you want to locate your graphic card and take out the power connectors. In my case, it's two 8-pin power connectors, and this guy powers the card as well as what it does when it's actually you know, plugged in uh, the PCI Express slot. So that also does deliver power, but that's mainly for data transfers. Now, next up, you want to be taking out the two screws to the left hand side. Most GPUs do require two screws as they are dual slot, but if you're upgrading to a beefier graphic card, you might have a low-end one currently, and that might only require one screw. Now once you've done this, there should be a tab on your motherboard on the PCI Express Time 16 slot. You want to push that up and then with one hand, firmly kind of grab the graphics card and pull it out. Might require a bit of force, but once it's out, it's out. That's it. Voila. So yeah, this is the tab I was talking about. So yeah, you just want to push that up and then the plastic tab will not be kind of holding your GPU in place. Now we're going to be installing a new graphic card. This might look very uh, familiar to you guys. Yeah, this is exactly the same card. This is just a tutorial for you guys. But yeah, this is a GTX 770. So we're going to be installing this card. You want to just align it up with the PCI Express TAM 16 slot. And then once you've got it lined up correctly, just like I have there, you just want to push it in. And boom, there we are. The card is now in. As simple as that. Now you want to be getting the power cables. You want to be plugging them in there. There we are. Then another one. Yeah, in my case, it's two 8-pin um, cables. To be honest, this card does suck up quite a lot of power when you're gaming, but it's also there so you can get some good overclocks as well, because overclocking requires a lot more kind of power than what you guys actually think. So once you've done this, you want to be putting two screws uh, just on onto the back here. This will secure it to the case, and yeah, then the kind of card will wobble up and down. So there we are. So just putting the two screws in here. You just need a standard kind of screwdriver, just a standard Phillips screwdriver with a, a plus on the end. I've no idea really what they're called, but you know, you guys can research that if you're ready first. Make sure your graphic card's in place, give it a little wiggle, make sure the power cables are in, and uh, that'll be about it. Thumbs up. Now once you've done this guys, you're going to be putting your side panel back on, just like so, sliding in place. I actually have a windowed um, side panel, I think it's pretty nice. But yeah, once that's in, you want to be putting the thumb screws in, uh, on the back of the case. And yeah, once you've actually put the thumb screws in, you're ready to play. But are you? No, you're not, no. You need to be plugging the cables in. So. You just want to be plugging your cables in. Now, depending if you have a monitor, you want to be plugging in a DVI cable. DVI is the best, guys. You want to be using DVI. Um, but, however, if you do have a television or not an actual gaming monitor like I do, you might want to be using something like HDMI. Um, essentially, the same kind of cable, apart from um, HDMI carries audio as well. But, computers plug um, cables into the back. Now, these connections that I'm pointing to, don't be plugging your actual monitor into these onto the motherboard. Because then, yeah, your computer won't be using the graphic card. <laughs> now, once you're finished, guys, you will have something like this a working system. Click the power button, see if it works, and if the fans start to spin on your GPU, you have done something correct. You should see something on your display, and then voila, you've just upgraded your graphic card, and you can now play games at somewhat good levels of detail and good frame rates. Anyway guys, thank you for checking out this video on how to upgrade your graphic card. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And also guys, on the screen now, there's two other videos that you can watch. The one on the left is uh, a guide on how to overclock your GPU, and then the one on the right is for tomorrow's video, which is uh, my gaming setup. I'll do guys have asked that, so yeah, I'm going to be bringing that to you guys tomorrow. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye.